In this video, I'm going to uh, recap uh, the different uh, triangle congruency methods just to make sure that we're all on the same page. Um, so as you go through your work, you want to make sure that uh, your information matches what I go through in uh, this video. So let's start out with the first um, problem here. We've got SSS, which stands for side, 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 side side and if you recall this was the triangle that you created knowing the lengths of the three sides and if you constructed it carefully and accurately you would have seen that everybody's triangle in the entire classroom was in fact the same they should have all been congruent so is it a shortcut yes all right and hopefully you found that out all right and then for our diagram and example let's draw a quick picture here. Again, I'm drawing these triangles in the same orientation, but they don't always have to be. So there's ABC. We'll call this one DEF. And if we were going to show side, side, side congruency on this triangle, I would just put the same tick marks on each side. So there's AB and ED, and then BC and EF, and then AC and DF. All right, and then if we were going to name these two triangles congruent, we're going to talk a lot about corresponding order, which means the parts that match up. You would want to say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Okay, so A and D match, so they're in the first spot. B and E, those are the ones that match in C and E. So make, if you have questions about corresponding order, make sure you ask. All right, next, angle, angle, angle. So what you probably noticed by looking at all the different triangles in the classroom is that the triangles were all different sizes. They were all the same shape, but they were all different sizes. In order for them to be congruent, they have to be the same size and shape. So is it a shortcut? No. And then an example you may have had would be two triangles that are the same shape. We'll try and make these the same shape, but not the same size. We could show that the angles are congruent. We can put letters or not. So we can see in our picture here that we have the three pairs of the angles congruent, but the sides are not congruent. And these are clearly not the same size, although they are the same shape. All right, moving on. The next one was side, angle, side. So you were given two lengths of sides. And the measure of the angle between those two sides. And again, if you uh, constructed your triangle accurately, we would have noticed that everyone's triangle in the classroom uh, based on the information that was given, would have been the same size and shape. So yes, this is a triangle congruency. Again, let's draw a picture. I'm just going to draw it a little bit different this time. So let's call this uh, A, B, C, and I'm going to call this X, Y, Z. And for side angle side, I'm going to pick two sides, so let's say AB and XY, and then BC and YZ, and the angle has to be right in between. That's angle B and angle Y. And we could say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ. So, so far we have two methods for proving triangles congruent. And in the next video, we'll talk about uh, the last three in the chart. Make sure we're on the same page here. And uh, we'll see you there.